already. I haven't made my first touch yet. Hey, buddy. You got a dime for a cup of coffee? Tell me where you get a cup of coffee for a dime and I'll go with you. Dime all over. I mean, why don't you guys get a new line? Okay, got half a buck. I want to get an espresso. That's better. So where's the half a buck? You know why I'm not going to give it to you? I got no time for that, Pops. This street's dead in half an hour. How long have you been doing this sort of thing, young man? On and off for 30 years. On and off? Yeah, I take a trip to Europe now and then. I love Paris in the springtime. <laughs> you give me a quarter or ain't you? You know you interest me. I wish it was mutual. So long, pal. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't know who you're talking to. I don't know you, you don't know me. Let's keep it that way. I happen to be in advertising. You keep me waiting for a lot of soft touches, mister. Look at that guy getting in a cab. I missed him. How'd you know he's a soft touch? Bald, fat, loud tie, rain cover on his hat. Good for at least 35 cents. What am I good for? On a nice spring day around lunch hour, about a dime. How about a cold winter day? I'd be lucky if he didn't turn me in. Why do you hate me? It's not that I hate you, mister. It's that you keep me from picking up some extra change before I go back to the park. Look, there's another sucker. Just walked into that nice restaurant with that beautiful girl. How much do you think he'd give you? Think about a buck. That's a buck thirty-five I lost just standing here with you, chewing the fat. Look, fella, I told you you interest me. Report to me tomorrow at 10 a.m. I have a TV commercial for you. What do I have to do? All you have to do is lay down on a mattress, on a park bench, and tell the folks it feels good. I hate mattresses. What's the difference you're going to get paid for it? I don't do nothing I don't like. You like walking around the streets smooching? Yeah, but I've been hamstrung here. There goes another sucker. A buck and a half easy. That's 285 up in smoke. Just stand there with you, back in the breeze. Look, pal, here's three bucks. Where? I'm getting them out. Just tell me you'll be at my office tomorrow morning at 10 for an audition. Oh, so now it's an audition. We've got to see if you're the right type. I sleep in the park every night. Yeah, but you may not look it. How did the guy who sleeps in the park look? Like you? Ask me that in a couple of months. What's the matter? Are you in trouble, pal? If I don't come up with a good idea soon, it's curtains. I was in curtains once. It didn't work out. I mean finito, the end, kaput, all over. Understand? Don't you have any savings? All I got's three dollars and a subway token, and you want to take my last three dollars. Well, you could still get home on the token. What makes you think I want to go home? I'm a nobody, a phony, a fake. Don't say that, mister. You're as good as anybody else. I'm not. I'm a zero. I'm not kidding you. When I first seen you coming out of that advertising building in that tear sucker suit, I figured you for a fiver at least. Honest. I'm a failure, a flop, a nothing, a nobody. Please, 
mister, don't deprecate yourself. Oh, Cypher, a big bust. You're looking at a shell of a man. No, I'm not going home. I'm going to take these three dollars and get loaded and sleep in the park with you. With me? I'm going to level with you, mister. I don't sleep in the park. I got a duplex on Park Avenue. I only come out like this at night. That's why I can't report for that audition tomorrow. The final irony. <laughs> so long, buddy. Where you going? Get me a bum's outfit and take that TV job myself. Good luck. Boy, am I glad I didn't get into that rat race. <laughs> Hey, buddy, you got a dime for a cup of coffee? Don't let the clothes fool you, pal. I'd like to tell you a little story. Look, mister, here's a buck. Let me alone. I don't want to hear any more stories. Taxi! <laughs> Park Avenue, 72nd Street. I'll never wake Madison Avenue again. That's for sure. <laughs>